Hello. For problem 18, you're going to be writing a program that will convert currency. So you need to start by receiving the exchange rate and the direction of the conversion. So um, the rate uh, is going to just be equal to eval of input, enter the exchange rate from dollars to RMB. And the direction is going to be equal to eval of input, enter zero to convert dollars to RMB and one for vice versa. Once we have that information, we want to do the conversion and display the results. So we need to first get the amount to convert, but we want to properly display uh, what the units are. So if direction is zero, the amount will be eval input enter the dollar amount. But if the direction is one, the amount will be eval input enter the RMB amount. Um, we also want to have a case for incorrect input. So if direction is something other than zero or one, it's going to print that the uh, input was incorrect. Once we have our amount, we just need to then print the converted amount. So if we're converting from dollars to RMB, then we would print dollar sign round amount is round amount times rate yuan. It would be the reverse if you are converting from RMB to dollars where you would print round amount yuan is dollar sign round amount divided by rate. And I'm rounding to two for dollars and one for yuan, I believe that is what it is. Um, and that is just based off of the sample runs that were given in the textbook. So let's try a couple of options here. Um, entering the exchange rate from dollars to RMB. I don't have the textbook open here, so I'm just gonna make something up. I'm gonna say 2.3. Um, we'll start by converting dollars to RMB and we'll convert ten dollars. So ten dollars is 23 yuan in this case. We'll do the same thing, so 2.3. But now we'll convert in the opposite direction and we'll put in 23, so we should get 23 yuan is $10. And then lastly, let's test the case where we put in something that doesn't make sense. So I'll still use 2.3, but let's say we put in seven for the direction and it does indeed tell us incorrect input.